in Nigeria, we say penis. <laughs> we don't say penis. We say, no penis is following me out of my house if my house is, because I can always buy another, you know, I can buy one if I wanted to, but I can't buy another manuscript. So, yeah. I wrote her lot and I tried, we tried to sell it with my agent. I couldn't, we couldn't sell it. And I was, um, um, it was very depressing for me. And at, so, at, at a certain point, I just wanted to put the book behind me. That's her lot. So I called my agent um, and, I, and we said, okay, what are the next steps? And I said, well, there's this idea that I have for a book that I've been wanting to, to write as a play since I was 14 years old. And she said, tell me the story. So I told her the story in about one minute. And she just said, Lola, that's your next book. That's the book you're going to write. want to big up a writer that you, Remy, tell me is fantastic. That my other African brothers and sisters say, you know, this person is worth reading. That's what I'm interested in. Because if we don't think like that, we will not grow this industry. We have to create our own hype on this continent. And that is my goal. That's where I'm going in my life. That is why I started, you know, Ake Festival, Weeder Books, all those things. It's about having some sort of autonomy just as a continent, you know? We want to make our own stars, yeah, if that's yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs>